Hello everyone, welcome to another process video. Today I'm continuing on with my photos from New York City and if you watched my last process video, I had done two pages that were related to taking the subway and the bus um, after I left the gallery. What actually happened after that was that I went out to eat at a local pub near where I was staying. However, <laughs> when I went to do that layout just now, I realized that it needs a flip and I don't have any. I'm completely out. So I placed an order. Should be more coming, you know, in a couple of days, but until then I can't do any layouts, sadly, that have a flip. So I have to skip that layout and go on to this one. So this was actually start of day two. This is, I stayed at a hostel and this is some, um, some different views of around the hostel. So they have a central breakfast area. So that's where I was here. I was just, you know, up sitting at the counter, having the breakfast that is included with your stay. Then um, I actually did a little bit of journaling down there during my breakfast. And then I did the rest when I went back um, up to my room. So this kind of gives some different angles from around the room. So th if you've never stayed in a hostel, just so you know, this is pretty typical that it's a very, very small living space. Uh, in this particular hostel, I didn't even get a desk. Um, others that I've stayed in, I at least had a desk. I didn't in this one. So that made working kind of a challenge. You can see my iPad sitting there. Um, so I just had to like put my back against the wall and then do, 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 do on my iPad like that. Cause there was, there was nowhere else to sit. Uh, so this was exceptionally small. That's pretty standard for New York city, you know, spaces at a premium there. So I wasn't surprised when I walked in and saw that. Um, but then there's a little cubby here where you can stack items, whatever you have. Um, I tended to just kind of keep my bag of tickets and brochures and stuff over there. Um, that's all I really used it for. But you can see a little bit of the bed. There's a little bit of the window showing here. And then some hostels, you don't even get a sink in your room. You have to go to the communal bathroom where there are normally um, several showers that have doors that shut or whatever. In this particular hostel, you did at least get a sink in your room. So I found that really helpful because you can at least brush your teeth in there, you know. Um, and then there was a central shower, um, actually several on each floor, which was nice. So this is kind of the standard of, you know, what a hostel might look like. And so I wanted to document that. Um, it was very yellow. <laughs> As you can see, everything was painted yellow, even the breakfast area. Uh, so the banana matches, which is great, but um, we'll see what kind of challenge that presents with how I want to do all of these pockets. I liked this card, it says travelogue, but part of why I liked this card is because it threw in some of this extra color. It definitely has the yellow in there, but it also has, you know, this blue, this kind of pinky coral color. Um, I'm gonna try to pull in some of that. And then as always black, you know, black pretty much goes with everything. There's a little bit here, here, here. So my journaling for sure will be in black if I do any. Um, so I don't know about what I'm actually going to put on the photos, but we'll find out. I pulled out these stickers. These are from Pretty Little Studio. This is from the On The Go line. And there's this blue sticker that says, eat the food. And that's kind of funny because it's like when you're at the hostel, the point is, you know, you just eat their food so that you're not paying to have another meal out. So that's exactly what I did. So I'm going to use that one and just put it up in this upper left hand corner. I did adhere that up in that corner. And then I think I have found something for this card. It says, and so it begins, which is appropriate because it was the start of day two. And then I found in this same pack of stickers here, it says on an adventure, it's black. So I think it will work. And so I think I'm going to put it right down here under this. So it kind of draws the eye from, you know, if you're looking over here and see this little bit of black, it'll draw the eye over this direction. I put on the sticker there and I'm happy with the way that looks. And then after that, I went looking through my stash of uh, little labels, like pre-cut labels to see if I had anything that would match. I found this one. And I think that's a pretty good color match to that. I think I'm going to either put it over here to give some kind of contrast. Um, I could go here cause there's some dead space there or up top. I don't really want to cover any of the journaling. So I think it's got to be one of these three photos. 
I decided that I would stamp something and use the tag up there, that coral one that I had found. And so I did hashtag weekend because this was uh, Sunday morning. So I think that's going to go right up there. I used this stamp set and I believe this is from Studio Calico. Don't quote me 100%. Oh, because I don't see it on here anywhere. But I think that it is. And so I just used that stamp right there. In order to bring in more of that black, I decided I was going to stamp something on the sort of title card for this page, the one that says Travelogue. So I did the black triangles there, and I think that brings in just enough visual interest, and it kind of almost cuts this in half, which makes it visually interesting, I think. Uh, I may go back and add a second row, sort of, you know, right underneath that, or maybe only three quarters of a row, I'm not sure. But I used the same set and I just used this one. To bring in even a little more black, I have pulled this little black rhinestone and I've just adhered a glue dot to the back of it. And I'm going to put it right up here next to eat the food. There we go. So it just looks like a little dot to bring some attention to it. Now, I still have to figure out, do I want to do anything here or here? I've got something right above this, so I don't know if that's the proper place to do that. Um, I could potentially put something here to kind of offset these two elements, so I will keep looking. Hey guys, I think I found the packaging for this stamp set. It fits in there, so I think this is it. If I'm correct, then it's Gossamer Blue. So, sorry that I said Studio Calico before, I think it was Gossamer Blue instead. So as I was looking through my stash, I found this little pennant phrase here. And I think that will work right here, because it was a moment captured. It was, you know, what my bed looked like when I had some work things spread out there. Because uh, the reality is, um, I'm an online professor, and so my work goes with me pretty much wherever I go. So even when I'm on vacation, technically, I'm probably working too. I'm just going to put a little staple in here after I've adhered this to the photo. Don't have a lot of room there, so it's gonna be pretty close to the edge, but that's okay. So there we go. Ah, okay. When I see these sitting here, I don't like this next to this. Like that blue is, is pretty strong. So let's see. Yes, I like that better. Okay, so minor tweak there. And I'm gonna leave this one alone. Later I may go back, sometimes I do that and maybe stamp on it with just a little phrase in black or something. But for now I'm gonna leave it alone because I think there's enough contrast here with what I've already done. So for this one, I think it's completed guys. And since you've seen the whole process, I don't need to put it in the page protectors, I don't think. So this is done. And I think this is one of the fastest I've ever put together. So yay, I'm thrilled with that. Thanks for watching, everybody.